Hi, my name is Ben and this is Experimental Fishing. Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about something that uh, we rarely hear about is copolymer fishing line. Now everybody knows about monofilament, fluorocarbon and braid. Well there's this other line called copolymer and I was going around and nobody knew what I was talking about. I went to this big fishing store where there's supposed to be professional salesmen and they didn't even know what the hell I was talking about so I ordered some online and tested it out for myself to find that it is incredible I love this stuff I first started fishing with monofilament on the spinning reel right and it's okay um, but I found that there's a lot of stretch and I don't know there's no no resistance to abrasion and where I'm from there's a lot of rocks and a lot of debris in the water so branches and stuff and monofilament wasn't doing it for me so and I didn't want to go with fluorocarbon because it was really expensive I found at the time and um, braid either so I, I found I found a really good deal online when I bought my first bait caster and it was from casking um, and I got this like up here in Canada casking on Amazon is really expensive I don't know for what reason so I ordered it on eBay and it came from Japan now I received it and I put it on my spinning reel and you know what this stuff is really good I I love it because it has less memory than uh, monofilament it uh, is tough as nails and it sinks it's it's a little different it it sinks but not as fast as let's say fluorocarbon fluorocarbon will sink really really fast the uh, casking fluoro coat will not sink fast it is smooth on the guides and it just it, it casts really well now what is copolymer in a nutshell copolymer are two strand two different strands of nylon which are wrapped in fluorocarbon so it, it stretches just a wee bit more than fluorocarbon but it stretches less than mono and it sinks but very slowly this one is in all the copolymers that I tried this one sinks the slowest it's not bad it's really good I, you know it, 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 I I will probably buy some more of this I love and it's really inexpensive I got a really good deal on these so you could you could find these for as low as like six dollars I think for uh, for for how many yards is this doesn't say how many yards anyways I find it's really really cheap so and then I decided well if I only try one, how will I know if there's a difference? Like, is there any better? Because there's not a lot of this stuff on the market. So I did my research and on YouTube, there's not a lot of copolymer videos on YouTube, but I, I found some information. So I decided to try the Yozuri Hybrid. Uh, I don't know if I got a bad batch I have no idea what I found the difference between these two is this one sinks a lot faster but I found it to be brittle and stiff so when you're doing knots which is very important right this guy makes a lot better knots than this and this I find tends to snap easier maybe it's a bad batch it happens you know I'm sure it happens for these guys I'm sure it happens for every oh. brand you could get a bad batch copolymer line is either the same diameter as uh, monofilament or thinner most of the cases it's 
slightly thinner, meaning you could put more on your reel, which is a good thing, right? Now, I don't know about this guy. I don't know if I got a really bad batch or they're all stiff and brittle. I did not like it. I only used it once and I took it off my reel, unfortunately. Am I gonna spend more money on another pack of this? I don't think so. That's unfortunate because uh, I hate bashing on maybe it's just faulty product because it's a bad batch. I don't know. But this I would buy in a heartbeat. No problem. This, not so sure. Now I was going around and there, there's other, you could find it in P-Line and you could find it in other brands and, but they're hard to find. And um, one day, this is a store, it's from Europe that opened up here in Canada. And they opened up in the States, it's called Decathlon. Now these guys are, I think it's a French company and they specialize in sports like their shop is huge it is huge it's like a, a Costco of sports <laughs> they have a lot of sports in there different types of sports and they concentrate on um, carp fishing and I was going through the store and there's so much then there was full of line on the wall looking at their lines and their line is very inexpensive so I said well if we're gonna test line right might as well, you know, try theirs and they have copolymer. Well, look at that. So I bought two types. I bought this guy, which is called Resist, and it's it's floral coated copolymer. And uh, for this, I, th I think it was uh, is a hundred yards. Uh, no, two hundred seventy three yards for um, seven dollars Canadian which is nothing, I think in the States it would be like $4.50, $4 which is pretty good. And this has uh, not a lot of memory. Like when you cast, it doesn't make these big uh, loops. And uh, it, it is tough as nails. It is tough as nails and making knots, um, I, I do the, the uh, polymer knot no problems with this none whatsoever and i would buy this anytime anyway it's 10 minutes away from my house so i just pick it up and it's quite easy and i tried another one it's called line abrasion so this guy is a thousand yards for 15 canadian dollars which is approximately ten dollars american for a thousand yards and I know it's a dark, it's a smoke color, and I fish in crystal clear water. And I caught a lot of fish. And um, I'm gonna buy this again. Now, last year I used mostly copolymer on everything. And this year I'm gonna test um, some fluorocarbon. Uh, last year I did one day of uh, with fluorocarbon, uh, it was with Berkeley Vanish. It went well. Uh, it's a little stiffer, um, but this year I'm going to try the uh, suffix, and also I'm also going to try braid. But uh, these are just tests. So this this is not a test for me anymore. I'm ne probably never going to use mono again, but I'm going to use this, even though it sinks. It sinks so slowly that. You know, I did top water with this and I didn't have any problems. So, uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested in looking it up in copolymer lines, just just try it and, and you'll see. And my, my girlfriend's been fishing like 10 years. Like she fished before she was with me or not with me. And uh, she only uses mono. And last year I bought her a reel and I slapped that on. And she found it to be stiff for, for like compared to mono, like to, to, to do the knots and stuff. But she saw that there, there's less line twist and uh, her line never broke. Like mine broke because I've been using it all summer and sometimes you get a backlash. It makes like little uh, uh, K 
kinks in, in, in the line and poof it snaps off okay I'm, I must have lost in my whole summer uh, five five lures because of that but big deal you know if you fish a lot and then last year I fished a lot that's nothing so you know I lost more on monofilament in one summer than this so you know so check it out if you guys like it uh, I would try it if you're on mono if you're using your first bait caster um, a lot of people say I'll use mono because it's cheaper and blah 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 uh, I found that when as soon as I slapped that on my bait caster like I, I put trilene big game on my first bait caster don't do that don't do that this a lot, a lot of people love this stuff and if it works for you great but to me, on my first bait caster, I put that on, it's terrible, you know. And as soon as I put that on, uh, it ca you know you make less backlashes and it casts a lot further and it's a lot smoother. Uh, you know, look into it. Uh, I recommend this. So this wraps up my copolymer segment. Now I will do probably an update later on during the year when I'm gonna try uh, braid, because I wanna use this for top water. Um, and I will try also some fluorocarbon. I'll see where that goes, if I like it or not. You know, if I, if I don't like it, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with, with uh, copolymer, because it seems to be working very well for me. And uh, for sure, you know, for top water, with all the weeds and stuff, I didn't have any problems in the weeds with this. You know, but I, I, you know, I'll try anything. So I'm gonna try it out, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Now, um, with all this, I'm pushing line and pushing this and pushing that. These are all personal preferences. These uh, I have no affiliation with nobody, and um, this is just my personal, honest opinion. So take it like you want. If you know, some people are hell-bent to staying with mono some people are hell-bent to stay with with uh, fluorocarbon or braid and that's fine you know I'm just trying to say like if you want to try something different especially from mono and you'll find this is maybe better for you maybe it won't be but you got to try it so you know leave me a comment below if you tried it and if it's a positive one or a negative one you know any comments good it's constructive so here you go so i guess i'll see you next time right ciao